foaming at the funnel. There is a dairy beside Thomas's branch line at the station where the lines divide to go either to the harbour or to the junction. Every afternoon, special tanker wagons are pushed into the dairy siding. They are filled with milk and Percy takes them to the junction on his first train every morning. Thomas explained this to Wilbert. There's a hose pipe thing which puts the milk into the tankers, he said. They'll be ready by the time you get there for the first train. Sounds easy enough, said Wilbert. Thomas told him a great many other details too. Wilbert listened carefully, trying hard to remember them all. Next day he enjoyed himself. He was a much more powerful engine than Percy, so he found that he could cope easily with Percy's trains. The trucks behaved well too, which was a help. He's strong, he is, they muttered to each other. Don't upset him, you never know what he might do to get his own back. One day, Wilbert took loaded stone trucks to the harbour. On his way back with empty ones, he stopped at the station by the dairy and pushed the empty trucks into a siding. He left them and set out towards the junction, pulling just a few vans. Right, he thought happily, I leave these vans at the junction and bring the empty tankers back. Then, when those are put in the dairy siding, I take the stone trucks onto the top station. They met James at the junction. James knew who Wilbert was, of course, and asked how he was getting on. Wilbert chatted excitedly about the jobs he'd been given to do that day. Sounds as if you're enjoying yourself, James said, but it's best to take things slowly at first, and he puffed away. Wilbert continued his journey and reached the dairy station easily, but his fireman was worried about water. We should have filled up at the junction, he said, but you were busy chatting to James. Never mind, we'll get water here. The tankers were at the end of the train, so all Wilbert had to do was push them into the dairy siding. Then he drew forward and stopped beside the hose pipe. Just in time, said the fireman, and he put the hose into Wilbert's tank. As he turned the tap, the driver spoke to him. The fireman went to reply, but when he returned, he found that Wilbert had stopped at the wrong hose pipe. His tank was full, but not with water, with milk. You'll be foaming at the funnel if any of this gets in the boiler, gasped the driver. Quickly, they put out Wilbert's fire, and the fireman telephoned for help. Thomas came as soon as he could and pulled Wilbert back to the top station. Wilbert's tank was emptied and was given a thorough clean. Next morning, he was quite all right again. You and Percy make a fine pair, laughed Thomas. He had the porridge and you had the milk. <laughs>